So it's official, the brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 has been released and guess what? I've got him in my hands. What's new about him and is it worth your money? You'll know very soon. Let's go! Hi and welcome to the mobile app. If this is your first time here on this channel and you like everything about smartphones and GoPro related stuff, Start now by subscribing, clicking the bell, so you don't miss anything. So here it is, the brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 series coming out in three different models. The Galaxy S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra. My first impressions are quite positive in terms of design as Samsung has created this new kind of border around the cameras which looks pretty decent. When we place the smartphones next to each other there are no surprises in terms of display sizes. A 6.2 Full HD Plus for the S21, a 6.7 Full HD for the S21 Plus and a 6.8 WQHD Plus display for the S21 Ultra. What I'm personally also happy about is the 120Hz refresh rate. Because let's be honest, for a smartphone in this price range it's just a must. And look, it works really really smooth. But what is really amazing is that the refresh rate is dynamic which means that it adapts based on your usage. So this feature might save you some battery life as well. Of course we all know the Samsung Galaxy smartphones for their amazing camera performances. So what's new this year apart from this new camera border which looks really awesome. Let's start with the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus where we can find the same camera setup. An ultra wide camera of 12 megapixel, a wide camera of also 12 megapixel and a telecamera of 64 megapixel which you can use to zoom without losing quality. Both models have of course also a 10 megapixel selfie camera. However the Galaxy S21 Ultra has some differences in the camera setup. Just like last year a 108 megapixel camera to take stunning pictures from a distance without losing quality if you want to zoom in. Next to this a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, two telecameras and a laser autofocus sensor for even better zoom shots. Let's not forget the 40 megapixel selfie camera to make stunning selfies. Another feature where smartphones are really improving over the years is the video quality. Something that a few customers might forget about but making stunning videos allows you to just use a smartphone and not travel with a real camera anymore. The Galaxy S21 series can shoot stunning 8K videos where you can grab a 33 megapixel picture from. For people who are a bit more into video shooting, the Galaxy S21 is also able to record in 4K at 60 frames per second, something that is quite impressive for a smartphone. Samsung has also added some cool features like having a preview of all camera angles while recording, a vlog of you to shoot with both front and rear camera at the same time and a super steady function to make stable footage at even 60 frames per second. Before continuing I want to remind you as well that I have a special playlist throned from top to bottom where you can find all my smartphone reviews so far. Oh and by the way if you enjoyed this video already make sure to support my channel by giving this video a big thumbs up. In terms of performance there are a few interesting improvements to notice as well. The Galaxy S21 is equipped with a brand new 5nm application processor as Samsung claims it is in other words the fastest chip ever made for a smartphone. Augmented intelligence apps could work up to 5 times faster with this improvement. The Galaxy S21 is also equipped with a new memory chip of 12GB for the S21 Ultra and 8GB for the S21 and S21 Plus. This new chip allows the Samsung Galaxy S21 to reduce battery consumption of 20%. I think this is a good upgrade but you can only really check this if you have the phone for quite some time. The Galaxy S21 is equipped with a 4000 mAh battery, 4800 for the Galaxy S21 Plus and 5000 mAh for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So in terms of battery life I am a little bit disappointed as I wanted to see more battery capacity. But as just mentioned the new memory chip could of course improve battery consumption. All models have of course the super fast charging function to charge the phone quite fastly. The Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus can have up to 256GB storage while the Ultra model can have up to 512GB storage which is in my opinion not a bad choice as you need more and more storage these days. Games are developing and video shooting becomes more and more professional so you need quite a lot of storage. 
Also, please note that the Galaxy S21 is a complete 5G network smartphone, which you can use to download games, movies and music up to 20 times faster. This depends, of course, if 5G is already supported in your country. The Galaxy S21 is available in pink, violet, white and grey, the Galaxy S21 Plus in violet, silver and black, and finally the Galaxy S21 Ultra in black and silver. So in terms of colors, you'll have some options to choose from. The Galaxy S21 series are starting at the price of $799 for the S21, $999 for the Galaxy S21 Plus, and $1199 for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So what do I think about the Galaxy S21? It is an amazing phone. I'm quite happy that Samsung made a cool design change and improved some of the performances. What I also really like is that you have improvements over the whole S21 series, while last year I had the impression that only the Ultra model was really worth it in comparison to the previous model. However, if you have already a Samsung Galaxy S20 at home, I don't really think it's worth upgrading, but if you want to spend $1000 for some extra features, you will be more than happy of course. If you want more details about the Galaxy S21 Ultra, there is another special review coming up for this one. Make sure to check that one out as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was, please leave a like. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think about the S21 series. And don't forget to subscribe if you like everything about smartphones and GoPro related stuff. I see you in another video.